two two man baboon rising. Two man? Do we go for the two man? Honestly, we kind of win no matter what this turn anyway. I guess he can block. Let's go for the BMR. Oh, binary star is nice. So that's ten damage to fix <laughs> with the double warlord. Easy. Making content for you guys is a full-time job, and it's only possible with your support. Click the link in the description to join my Patreon for access to exclusive streams, deep fry podcasts, private video calls, and more. What's going on, everybody? This is Fry. So today we are doing Ramp Conjure Moon Rising. So this is a deck with a lot of ramp to Bad Moon Rising. We're running everything from Cryo Brain, which will give you extra brains every single turn. Cryo Brain also. Synergizes very well with turn 2 Cryo Brain, turn 3 Pogo, uh, and turn 4 Mug. That will bounce something and then put a 5 5 on the board, and you guys know how that goes. That's called Ramp Spacito. Uh, we're also running Thinking Cap in this deck, so I, Thinking Cap just, you know, on turn 3, uh, if without a space time is sad, but it's not that bad. You can really come from behind with the superpowers. Superpowers, I like the Thinking Cap in a Bad Moon Rising deck, because very often you can get summoning or bats or. <clears throat> you know, even better backup dancers or infinity clones, things that will work very well to put, you know, cheap minions on the board, teleport them in, essentially, uh, and uh, you'll be able to get Bad Moon Rising, turning all those little minions into huge monsters. So we're also going to be having other ways of ramping with Nebula. Uh, so the Nebula you can play on the field really at any time and then play Buried Treasure into it and then you'll get an extra brain. And then on top of that you can play a Brain Vendor, uh, which will then give you two extra brains. And you should be able to set up pretty easily a Bad Moon Rising. Uh, the third way of ramping this deck is we are running the thing we call Gentleman's Ramp, which is teleporting in Gentleman Zombie. If you actually teleport this in on turn four, teleport Gentleman Zombie. This goes into a gravestone, pops up on turn five, gives you two extra brains, and all of a sudden you have a Bad Moon Rising. So if at that point, you know, you just play, you know, one or two brain vendors, you can actually get a very uh, solid turn five Bad Moon Rising. The Brain Vendor also is very good with Mixed Up Grave Digger. For example, if you Pogo on turn 4, and then on turn 5 you play Brain Vendor, it gives you 3 brains back. Uh, and you play Mug, which is putting a 5-5. Five, five. This will actually pop out of the Gravestone and give you 3 extra brains that turn uh, that you can spend. If that was turn 6, you can then play your Thinking Gap. If not, you can use it on a Cryo Brain. Or you can really just set up... I think the thing I really would like to do is use those 3 brains to set up Nebula, because now... On turn six, you'll be going into turn six with a nebula on the field, uh, which means you're very easily going to be able to just play another brain vendor or play one of your very treasures um, and basically ramp to seven. And then with the pogo and the mug and the brain vendor and the buried treasure on the field, you're going to have this massive, uh, you know, large field wide bad moon rising. Let's see how the deck does. Hope you guys enjoy. Uh, we'll play eight games with this today. And uh, oh, let's just say five out of eight. We'll have fun with this deck. I, I, I would say 6 out of 8 because I think this deck will actually do really well. I'm going to say 5 out of 8 so I can BM more and not have pressure of the bets on me because this is just going to be... The question is, is this going to be an effective deck? It'll definitely be a fun deck. Hope you guys are in for a fun stream. So, teleporting in space-time could be good. How do we play this? I don't really want to spam this on 1. Teleport this on 2 and put it on 3. I feel like teleport space time is going to be really good here. Uh, I'm going to hold this in case we get HG Super. This is really good on turn one against Solar Flare. doesn't really have a good way of dealing three damage. Is there anything that Solar Flare plays on turn one that deals three damage? Anything? I mean, there's no, like, even, like, Primal Potato Mine, Bonk Choi. I'm just like, there are some one drops. Oh, she has a uh, Haunted Pumpkin. Okay, there's that. <laughs> uh, this man decided to Super Face. Come on, man. Five out of eight, so yes. Let's go. I don't even think we have to teleport space. Should I just pass here? Alright, we'll pass. If he does anything too crazy, we'll teleport. Very treasure to block it. Like if he plays poison ivy, exactly. I think I'm just gonna bury treasure space time. We'll hold the teleport. It'll come in handy later. 
So this is very good. I'll do this on heights. So it does not get... The teleport also works for the card we get from Buried Treasure. All right, so all of a sudden we have Warlord Mug instead of Pogo Mug. I think I'm going to go with that. Yeah, we're definitely going to Warlord here. Should I teleport Warlord? Just to guarantee that we'll get the Warlord Mug as opposed to him hammering this? We also have Teleport Gentleman Zombie later. Honestly, I'm going to go with my gut. This is a control deck that supered our face on turn one. I'm going to teleport Warlord so we can guarantee to get the Warlord Mug combo. Hell yeah. The opponent was playing control. I have no regrets. This is so good. Teleport Warlord. Who knew that would be? Who knew it would be a day that I would, I, I would, I would, I would like... <laughs> no, it's so unexpected. Teleport Warlord Mug, by the way, is brainy, hardy, and sneaky. That will almost never happen. Oh my gosh, we got Brain Vendor. Guys, we got Brain Vendor. We're gonna set up some more ramp now. This is this is how this is going down. So now this Brain Vendor itself will be a 4-3. We'll have a 7-7 seven, seven and a 4-4. Four, four. Solar Flare has no grave removal. So we got this, guys. This is insane. Yeah, and the opponent can't do anything. It's another control play just down the drain. It's called War Mug? Well, that's just chump blocking. I mean, that doesn't win a trade against anything. He'll take, you know, a bunch of... Did he get the mug? Did he do the... No, he missed the mug. All right. He's got a good battle cry. I like it. All right, so we're doing this now. Uh, besides the fact we're doing 11 damage to this guy's face. Nice control deck, Solar Flare. That was beautiful. And all of a sudden, it's time for Bad Moon Rising. This actually gives us Bad Moon Rising, so... Worst case scenario, we'll thinking cap and play two tricks if, if he cukes right now or something. Thinking cap ain't bad, but let's be serious, guys. What fun with that? Oh, come on. Two two man baboon rising. Two man? Do we go for the two man? Honestly, we kind of win no matter what this turn anyway. I guess he can block. Let's go for the BMR. Oh, binary star is nice. So that's ten damage to face <laughs> with the double warlord. Easy, easy. Oh my gosh. Hell yeah. Wow, we. Teleport Warlord Mug. I've never done that before. Teleport Warlord on turn four, somehow. <laughs> I'm so happy with that. That was so good, man. Yeah, the nurse would have done 16, but that guy was dead. Come on. He was dead. Alright, well, I guess that's the highlight intro. Oh, man. So we got about 80% people voting yesterday. Well done. Well played. Gentleman's Ramp intensifies? I really like the pogo. Uh, Alright. Let's see what happens here. <laughs> Let's see if the opponent has a, for a very important forget-me-nuts. The essential. Just play one of your... Just play your... Tractor, <laughs> Lieutenant Caratron, whatever you got. Just don't play Forget Me Nuts, please. <laughs> it really messes up this hand, too, unfortunately. Uh, I do have to change the score. Sorry, I'm doing a bunch of things at once here. Now he plays that. Playing that on turn two is so inefficient because he can't really do anything else this turn. Wow, he had a second forget me nuts. What a what a dick. For real, what a dick. I don't really know what to do with this. We'll do it later, I guess. I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to do here. I guess we have to go after the forget-me-nots, and luckily we have an environment. So. 
that is extremely cool, because we play that for free, get another one. The environment also leaps this, so if he plays Photosynthesizer, we good. I'll probably just play the spam this here no matter what. Now, I'm trying to... Just write down highlight entry. Uh, so this is what he got. He gets a 3-5. Three, 3 cost 3-5 three, superpower? I don't know. See what happens. Hopefully get a good trade. Alright, it's a 2-3. <laughs> it's not great. But it's fine. It doesn't take the damage. Call it a 2-5. It's pretty good, especially since it's sitting in the environment drawing his teleports now. I don't really know. This could end up correcting a trade in lane 2, so let's go for it. Hopefully I don't get block busted here. I really want to start popping off with the, uh, that's so annoying, man. The Snapdragon was perfect there. Could not have found a better card. And I'm still just so... Okay. Out of this Forgetminus is killing me. Our entire hand is tricks. I want to start playing superpowers. I mean, this is, would be very difficult to come back from this game, man. Freezing this now. Ah, uh, Pogo defensively, maybe? We can actually bounce this, it loses its buff, but I don't know. I kind of want to just bounce Snapdragon. The two forget me notes really got us. I guess for the sake of staying alive, we kind of have to do this play. And who knows, maybe we'll get some amazing comeback with the superpowers and stuff next turn. Why do you guys think it's a sniper? I mean, I don't have the stream delay on. This is why I have the stream delay usually. I don't think we're in good shape. We're going to need a real miracle here from this thinking camp. How do we play this? We thinking cat first, I guess. I don't really know. We t I mean, we can super test. There's no real way of sur I mean, we'll take two and one, yeah. Alright, we need a miracle thinking cap involving heal and removal, basically. I don't think that does it. We needed a second answer here. Unfortunately, we did not get it. But none of these are really useful. This explodes. There's nothing in that we can pull out of our deck. Alright, just a sad. Chad's saying it's a sniper. I'm not so convinced. It was just him getting two forget me nuts against our start with HE Super and just all tricks. Literally, our whole line was tricks. So. It's okay. I could have had a chance of blocking if I didn't nerf the Snapdragon. Yeah, I guess you're right. I don't think it really mattered at that point. All right, let's look for a good curve into Pokemon, I guess, against HG. 
against Captain Combustible, I mean. It's pretty good. I think I'm gonna teleport this in just so we can play defense until we get the poke out. Maybe he'll pass. <laughs> That's so good. The space. Well, we could. We. Well, no, we. Well, okay. Uh, this is awkward. <laughs> I'm still gonna spam these, though. <laughs> I, I don't know if we commit this yet. I don't think so. We don't really need to suck anything in since we're pogoing it. It's really <laughs> such an awkward play. A brain vendor, something to cover this also. That's not a gravestone would be nice there, but... Alright, I shouldn't complain that the, that that we kind of just spent all of our cards, because that, that actually was really good. Um, Kiko Pogo on three. We can also do this play, which I think is better, and Pogo on four and the Mug on five. I'm not really worried about anything else this turn. That's it. Three cost binary. Uh, this is pretty good. We keep on getting gravestones, and we can't even cover this. Boop. Boop boop. Does this do enough here? I think it's okay. We're probably gonna see a banana star strike, so Pogo should be good. Binary star is also decent. We'll do the binary like later. I'll save lane four for the potential binary stars. It's almost a hundred percent banana stars rex, and Pogo answers it really well. Oh look, look what happened, guys! What a freaking surprise party that was, man. So we're, we'll go mug and then binary, I guess. We're not gonna have space for the binary stars though. There's something that really makes me wanna just. This will be fun. It's such a good play. I don't know why I feel like grumpy about this game. Everything's going fine. We're pogo mugging on a full board into high roll freaking HG high roll space time. <laughs> There's just a lot of things I want to do that I can't. Definitely bouncing you brainlessly. Mug does not go face. Uh, should conjure something here. We're set up for Bad Moon Rising, not this coming turn, but the one after that. Space time does hit. Can I get like a trick or an amphibious minion? Something playable? Uh, the point is now if you remove something, we have teleportation zombies, so we can spend our brains that way. Lily, really? Ow. Uh, should we go for Batman Rising here? No. Can't really deal with teleportation zombies, so that's a good thing. I don't know. I, not dealing with this, uh... Not dealing with this is kind of stupid. I could play Brain Vendor and then theoretically either Bad Moon Rising... Or we could just teleport, and he'll remove this, and we'll teleport a gravestone in, I guess. It's not terrible. Uh, very sad cucumber. Extremely sad. Slightly less sad cucumber. That one is the one you're bonus attacking. Instead of clearing the lamb. <laughs> so strange. I guess this is Bad Moon Rising, right? Let's see if lane one can do anything here. No, it can't. Wow. This is just so... I mean, ten damage wins. We just need five and five. We'll have six and three now. Thank you, freaking five drop three three. Why does this card exist? It shouldn't. It should not. What am I gonna do here? We're one off lethal. 
<laughs> so we mug this guy. We mug him till he shit. This is cost three, right? I'm not blind here. All right, this should be good. I mean, I guess him growing his Bananasaurus Rex wins as long as Blowgun's not in lane one. It is. So we got the strike through in lane one, so drawing a card doesn't help here at all. Gosh. <laughs> this was so close to us losing. I'm telling you, Blowgun now, Blowgun caused us to lose, and now Blowgun causes us to win. And he's not growing this one because, yeah, nothing has six attack anyway, it doesn't matter. And he knows it too. He knows we need Blowgun and one to win, and that's it. Binary stars. Actually, uh, now that we our other card was binary stars, really all of these killed the B-Rex. Uh, he should have maybe used great responsibility to play around binary stars. Not really. All right. Anyway, we won. We got out of that game successfully. I don't know what was with that. <sighs> I hate Blogan. What's this week's podcast topic for the Patreon? We have it on the Patreon. I'm probably going to do something psychological. I, I, there's a few people who've been asking me for that. I've never really done... I have a lot of... Psych, yeah, I usually do philosophy, but I have a lot of psychology. I'm probably going to do something practical, too. I'll see if you guys like what I have to say in that area. How do we do this? Gut feeling is don't keep mug. You're fine. We're we're seeing some neb we're gonna have a nebula game for the first time here. Uh, I guess we'll cry brain on two and set up ramp then on three and see what happens. We have this nice ramp here. Which is very cool. Wow, so we have this huge ramp play coming up. Hopefully it doesn't do anything too crazy. Um, I'm just thinking, should the nebula go here? Or should it go here? Attacking the three nut next turn is going to be not very fun. A teleport would have been cool here to punish this. Is it better the, the brain vendor should end up here, or the... Bigger card. I guess the bigger card. Can we? Can you c get out of my hand? <laughs> well, I was. Uh, I let go of my mouse button. I don't know why I didn't play the card. Side sync got confused. It's uh, confused. It is very confused. Okay, watch. We're gonna get like uh, guard feast here, and we're gonna be able to ramp to it. Let's see what else we get. That's a lot of ramp. That's a binary stars. So this is six and four. We can go four, five, two, I guess. It's grass knuckles though. I guess like this. Oh, I should have. I should have played the binary stars after, duh. What am I doing? It stayed. <laughs> the gravestone didn't move. It's all good. It's a Galactic for three damage. This man going face. This man don't care. Whoa, he's going six now. It's crazy. And here we got the monk, so this will die at least. Uh, we're really, I'm really happy to have some healing because this, he, it's a very smart play, I think. He just went face. It's a lot of damage. We're doing ten. This also heals for like twelve. We'll see if he has a sham rocket. A sham rocket will basically win him the game.
I, it just has to not have a shamrock in and we're fine. Because we heal for 12. It looks like the chat's complaining so something something just got cut. I don't really understand. It doesn't say I dropped any frames. It must have been Twitch glitching out. Hope not. Wow, so we actually do the heals. Splash. It heals us for double, right? We get 16. <laughs> well, 12. We get 16 health total. That's cool. That dies. And we get 5. I think that was good. Oh, man. I guess it's like this. No, no, wait. Well, we don't want to know. Well, I shouldn't know. That's stupid. What am I doing? I, I didn't even look before I did the play. Damn, I'm, I'm distracted by the lag. That's so sad. Fortunately, he didn't have anything good, and we actually have the answer to the one good thing he did there. Uh, so we just have to find a way. We'll have space time on the field. This is okay. Thing in my block now. If we get teleportation station, I'm just using this here. We need the cards. We don't need Nebula at all. So there's Brain Vendor. Then we'll see what we get. We'll play this defensively. Yes! We won. <laughs> it wasn't pretty, but we did it, guys. Streamlabs thinks I'm not live. Streamlabs is drunk. It says, stream uptime, channel is not live. Starts Lord OP. Prime Up has been offline for 6 hours and 25 minutes. <laughs> Come on, Streamlabs. What a fail. <laughs> what are you saying, man? <laughs> he doesn't know. <laughs> AIs are never going to take over the world. That I'm certain of. How would he know? <laughs> Bro. So do this on heights to play around the silly silly. We have gentlemen's ramp in the Bad Moon Rising. Well, so maybe we'll get something cheap from uh, space time here. That's okay. If that's all he does this turn, this is okay. I'm just gonna set up Nebula. Oh. I will put that in the fail count. So, Nebula, I guess. I don't know, man. What am I actually going to do here now? I can't afford to Nebula. I, I need to find an answer here. Worst case scenario, I'll just ice. That is so freaking good. So good. It's just too much damage. I would have liked to use this with the. It's okay. We're, we're fine. We're okay. Do -do 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 -do. Let's see if we can find something good, you know? Cowboy is fine! Cowboy is excellent. It covers a whole extra lane, too. Should I cover this? I think I just... Well, we, we have three lanes covered right now. 
I think I think it's just I think it's just Really all four lanes now are blocked. I mean are stuffed or blocked. He could have an elderberry in one, that would be really sad. No, not Gatling! It's too much damage. Wow, turn four Gatling. If turn four 15 damage combo. That's lots of fun. Luckily he has nothing that can buff. He has scorch shield. Uh, we're 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 alive. For now. Oh boy. This is not gonna be an easy Not gonna be an easy one. Just teleport. So I guess like Popey doesn't have a plant food or four damage otherwise. Teleport this in and then try to go for a Bad Moon Rising. Worst case scenario, we'll just go for, like, Thinking Cap. <sighs> That's too much damage. All right, we're going to need a Miracle Thinking Cap right now. I mean, what what even saves us? It's going to have to be, like, Boogaloo here. I'm just trying to think the scenario where, where this is good enough. We're just dying into aggro. Pogo would have been good, but we never got it. Is there anything that saves us here? There's like there's like nerf so we can block and then we get guy on the block on the California roll. Heal nerf was crazy. Heal nerf was wild. Roll three. There's no way. Roll three. God damn it! <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> One more brain, we would have been good there, guys. No. Oh, man. Oh, well. That game was harsh, actually. Oh, well. Here's Rose. Rose equals no chance of bad mood rising. Teleport space time in, I guess. Alright, let's go. Okay, here we go. <laughs> gonna be some this is gonna be some nutty nutty business here. Switch the early game for tele M so we don't die to aggro as easily. Probably right. Uh I think space time's gonna go on the ground now. Because of the environment. That's hot. We we can actually play both of these into oh my gosh, we have a lot of <laughs> we got a lot of stuff going on right now. So again, we play this, we can still think in cap, so I love this play. Free Quasar? We'll take Free Quasar. <laughs> Slightly playing around like... I don't know. So it's a... It, we're gonna have three superpowers to play this turn. <laughs> this is just Huge Giganticus being Huge Giganticus in 5k. Um, this Area 22 is so freaking good that I think I'm just gonna do that instead of the Thinking Cap and we'll go for that next turn. We'll save the bats as well. We don't block that. Oh, I shouldn't complain. It's just a California roll. Uh, it's just Rose. What could, you know, Godify is so sad into this. Oh, that's fine. It's all starting to go wrong. Uh, second space time. Looks good. Look, mommy, we have double thinking cap. Oh, no, no, don't shrinking now. Okay. <laughs> Gotta play into that, too. We have three costs thinking cap. Everything is good. Oh, no, he froze. Oh, no. Give me something good. Give me some... That's hot. Now, we do have the thing, guys. I could play this in one in order to get an extra superpower. I can also play it here in order to ramp. If I had a Bad Moon Rising in my hand, I would totally do this. But for now, I mean, we'll have two draws to get it. 
getting the, the the superpower is so much better. It's so much better, but I mean, we have four Bad Moon Rising in this deck. I don't know. Come on, please. Please, top deck Bad Moon Rising. Oh, <laughs> okay. Top, okay. He didn't actually California. He's at 17 health and he's blocked twice. Well, I guess he healed for four, but I'm pretty sure we just got California rolled again. Can we top deck Bad Moon Rising just because of all the... Damn it. <laughs> oh, well. Thinking cap it is. No, I don't. El Lamo. We got this going on. <laughs> we are just full of it, aren't we? All right. Come on, Bad Moon Rising. I don't know. Oh, there's Mecha, sir. I guess it's like this here. And then this. I guess this is fine. Four, two. We still have zero cost bats in hand. I kind of want a Mechasaur, but does the opponent have a superpower? The opponent used Freeze. And they used Weed Whack. They haven't used Mog or Godify, right? Right? And they definitely are holding one. I don't know what to do here. Alright, well, we'll do the smart play. We're making all these brains, but we don't have anything to do with it. We'll pop out with... with six brains. Oh, I should have committed this. Whoops. Just to be able to get things in the amphibious lane. Whoopsies! Okay, we're saving it for Bad Moon Rising. We can also just spam bats there. It's probably better than Swabby anyway. Okay, so we cool beans. That was so annoying. <laughs> I don't know why I haven't said that. I mean, we're high rolling so hard. I don't know why. This game is such a pain in the ass. What is happening here? I don't know. I can't do anything. Where are the... Fudge! I ran four Bad Moon Rising. I was gonna run three. I irresponsibly ran four because I really wanted to get good ones. We can actually teleport Swabby Bad Moon Rising if we get it. We also have teleport Mechasaur. Can you kill something, please? I think teleport Mechasaur is the play, man. Kill another card so I can use bats to get a free card. Oh my gosh, this is so good. <laughs> uh, yeah. So teleport. Oh, you're gonna regret that, boy. Uh, there's no way to utilize this, so it's gonna be you. We have extra brains, doesn't matter. We'll hit him with this. So we'll, we'll actually have all the lanes clogged now, which is fun. And then, yeah, the next or the third card will end up being in lane two next turn. That's pretty good. Besides the fact we're doing eight damage on 11 health. Actually, it's more. Can we one time, like, get get a good roll? Yes! Yes, Karma! Thank you! <laughs> I love you, Karma. You are such a good lady. You are definitely not a word that begins with the letter B. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I don't believe in Karma. It's a lie. So, Mondo on, yay! Our <laughs> four and two. Yay! <laughs> it's time for Ramp Spacito. I'm pissed off. We need to get Mug right here. We need to get Mug right fucking down. We'll top deck it. I don't care. Swabby, Swabby inspired that win. Right, when is the Weenus reveal? Here, I'll do it right now. You guys ready? You guys ready for the Weenus reveal? Weenus! <laughs> Weenus! It's a Weenus. You guys know what that is? 
You never heard of that? <laughs> Come on, Mug, where are you? Oh my gosh, we have the whole thing too. We got the whole thing going on. Should I play Pogo in? We can still top deck mug. God damn it. <laughs> oh, we can't get away with anything today. Great flick. I almost would rather have just been Grave Buster at that point. All right. We're ramping to Bad Moon Rising. This is it. I'm just spamming environment here. Dude, could you could you not with the snapdragons to <laughs> I don't like it. Alright, the brain vendor is gonna end up here. We we still have 13 health. We're fine. We're probably gonna get like a solo bad moon rising here. Let's see what we get. I'd love to get something cheap from the buried treasure, you know? Could we get something cheap that can get involved in this bad moon rising here? That's not very cheap. We can actually pogo and shark here. <laughs> That's pretty good. I think I'm gonna do this instead. The Bad Moon Rising isn't looking too hot. Alright. It's not bad. It is so annoying. I will I will be able to play this pogo eventually, that's the good news. Cool beans. Uh guy would I play guy here? Hmm. That's spicy. Yeah, I think so. Keep our health total up. It just allows us to kill this with the Minion next turn. So he's running Cool Bean and Grave Flick. Is this just a sniper running like all types of grave removal? He's running like Grave Buster and Blockbuster as well. Since we're running Pogo Mine. Um. Should I Bad Moon Rising? I think this is fine. Yeah, let's probably watch Breaking Bad. I like the first season, but I kind of. Okay, so this is the sniper running every type of grave removal known to mankind. And Starch Lord. <laughs> I understand what's happening now, guys. This is... Can we get a one or a two here? <sighs> We're so short. I don't know. Whatever. I have to, I, I give you guys the benefit of the doubt, I try to make a fun stream without the stream delay, and then some guy with daddy issues decides, no. It's not happening. I wish I could play both of these and Bad Moon Rising, but I, I totally cannot. You know, I think we need. I think we need Zombot. Good job, Star Slurry. Come on, Zombot. One time. One time. Oh my gosh. Disco Tron Kitchen? Say like, what? What? So, this will go here. That ain't bad. That ain't bad. I think we like teleports, so I'm gonna do this. He still goes space for three here. Wait, but this has frenzy and strike through. I'm just realizing this kitchen sink is lethal. 
This is gonna frenzy and strike through. So it's gonna hit for three, bullseye to face, then kill this one. So it does a frenzied attack for three more, and then it's gonna go face for six. That is what I call a bad moon rising. Look at this play. How many, look how many times it's gonna attack. Plus the overshoot, that kitchen sink. Did three, three, and six, did 12? It did 14 bullseye damage there. Happy New Year. Hell yeah. Get Rex Sniper, that's right. That's right. That is karma for a win. Let's go. Yes. Get freaking Rex. That's the bats too, man. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. We could end the stream right there. Get wrecked. <laughs> Make a compilation of prior wrecking snipers. He was running Starch Lord and all grave removal. I mean, come on against Pogo Mug. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. Easy. With ease. Yes. Woo! <laughs> What do we do here? All right. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this hand was actually not bad before we got this, but now, guys, this is going to be some bullshit right now. <laughs> oh, we got a leap, too. Wait, can we mug this turn? Oh, we're one turn away from mugging. Hold on, how do I play this? How do I do this correctly? We can... See, I think I'm not going to space time. We go two. Then turn three. This will bring us to five. Which means we can play you and mug. Come out for five thinking cat. All right, I think we got the whole thing worked out here, guys. Pretty sure I got this in the bag. This is gonna go here. <laughs> Guys, hold on to your seats. Oh my gosh, that just got so much better with buried treasure. Guys, it is about to go down for real in here. Get the space time first, Fry, so we can get the extra synergy. It is a okay we got another free minion involved because why the hell not it is about to freaking happen let's go yes easy teleportation stays that's fine this might be the biggest huge gigantic is high roll if we can get away with this without getting grave busted to the ice age Oh, well, that's, that's fine. This might be... Guys, I, it's time to play Guess What Turn It Is. The, 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 the most wild and unexpected game of Guess What Turn It Is in the history of PvZ Heroes. We're getting five more brains here. Let's see what comes out of this thinking cap, because this could be the cherry on the pie, right? Now, this could be the, the cherry on the cake. <laughs> cherry on the pie. That ain't bad. Oh, we can't second thinking cap. We'll have that set up for next turn. 
So I think the mug goes phase here. Oh no, and then this dies. I messed it up. <laughs> Do we leave this? Not really. All right, this is fine. So what was the play? Leap the mug and and forget about it. Yeah, I should have leaped the mug. Oh well. Oh my gosh, I killed that too. <laughs> kind of failed pretty hard there, bro. Not gonna lie. I a million percent should have leaped that mug, huh? God damn it. <laughs> I didn't think that through at all. I was too excited. I was too excited. I couldn't, couldn't handle it. I like this five damage going face, though. That's fun. Oh, I probably should have... Okay, never mind. Is this the way that we lose? Should I just do this with Bad Moon Rising next turn instead of going face right now? This also procs the block right now. I'm gonna proc the block over. Yeah, it's a lot of environments. I could still leap the mug. I tried to play it, but my side sink lagged. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, I, we got way too many environments. Where did this one come from? Where did this one come from? I think we're good. Can we get a minion, please? That's a minion. What turn is it now? Oh, it's only turn five. Oh, Pogo, nice. Surely he won't have a Grave Buster. Wow, we're actually going to lose this game. Watch this. I'm gonna learn my lesson and I mean we kind of need the strike we have more strike through for next turn though what we can do with this what comes out of it like undying Pharaoh all right I roll time guess another grave buster will put us out of business unfortunately. Can we get a non-gravestone card just to play here? That works. Can we get a Dying Pharaoh? Gas Giant. Probably is more grave removal, right? Thing. Hammers. I could laser base in three for the funny funny. It's actually probably gonna be the play because we're gonna like, yeah, we're gonna want it to be strike through anyway. The funny part is that it kills his triceratops. The good part is that three three and five will probably win here. All right, we actually got away with it, guys. After a bunch of fails. And a lot of trash. There's a one. Just don't roll double threes and we're good. Yeah, we go. <laughs> that could have gone so much better. Honestly, the thinking cap was very sad and it, it made it was already the thinking cap was what made that super anticlimactic, but alright, we did it guys. We got the six and two. As expected. With conjure this was fun. This was great. Maybe a little more solid early game just because we died really bad to like aggro. Whatever it was. Was it Gra No, it was Chumpzilla. Aggro Chumpzilla and Gatling Pin. Honestly, Pogo would have been good into that Gatling. We just didn't get it. Pogo Mug would have actually killed that Chumpzilla. He wouldn't have been able to do anything. 
All right, guys, that is going to be all for now. Hope you guys enjoyed the Ramp Conjured Moon Rising filled with highlights. I'll see you in the next one. It's going on YouTube. Peace. This is Fry.